happy Memorial Day. I'm meteorologist Jeff Porter. Uh, we observe Memorial Day in my family. My dad was in the Army for four years uh, after he got out of Penn State, and uh, he got out of the Army uh, somewhere in the mid-70s, uh, 76 or so. So uh, from our family right here on News Channel 3 to yours, happy Memorial Day and, and right through tonight. We know the weather's great. We know that much. We've got these nice bright blue skies, a little bit of cumulus cloud action, and none of the nagging humidity that we had over the weekend. So that's great. First big story tomorrow to begin your abbreviated work and school week is a Tuesday warm-up. All right, it's pretty good. A couple of degrees. We are concerned about thunderstorms on Wednesday with a risk of both gusty winds and hail. And uh, the action will evidence itself upon leaving the Great Lakes as a little bit of rain left over as we get you in the Thursday morning. Storm Prediction Center, these scientists study the integrity, the character of storms every day, 24-7, 365. As far as Wednesday goes, it's not just West Michigan, but the Great Lakes have a 5% risk for both gusty winds and hail. And right now we think that time frame would be the afternoon and the evening. This is a frame of hour by hour. It shows rain as soon as 7 a.m. Wednesday morning at the lakeshore. The real volatile storms though, again, that would be for later in the day. We're looking at your old National Bank seven day forecast. Once we hop over Thursday morning, we have another wonderful stretch of weather, Thursday afternoon and into your Friday. And the preview for well, it's the first weekend of June. Looks cool. We'll have some air come in from Canada, and that will also help initiate some afternoon showers and thunderstorms, but we'll keep our eyes on those. Well, have a great rest of your Memorial Day. Meteorologist Christina Anthony, she is live at 5, and we always want you to get your weather at wwmt.com forward slash weather.